hello and that was a weird hello welcome back to the average i'm steph i'm the average artist in case you guys don't know who i am today we're testing out some stuff that i bought for videos but could never really be bothered to get around to using before we begin if you guys remember this uh maybe if you don't this is my horror comic that i made a few years ago and now it's up for digital sale on gumroad pay what you want so if you want to check it out links down below Anyway, here's loads of stuff that I bought for videos over the years and I've just never gotten around to kind of using in a video. Um, I thought we could go through them just for fun and see what they're about. Uh, first of all, I got these pastel Poscas. It's probably like the least interesting thing here because everyone knows Poscas and I have kind of used them already, but I was like, screw it, I don't care. Um, I don't know, making a video about pastel Poscas? Probably not that interesting depended maybe on what I drew with them but yeah these these are pastel Poscas. <laughs> Next thing I got in London in a like a museum I think it's really paint on it because I do use this for my TikTok because I thought it would be more fun to make short videos with this. Um, basically what it is it's like prompt cards um, and you pick a card and it tells you like um, Draw an object, but hold your pencil in the opposite hand to the one you normally use. If you're a left hand, you use blah, blah, blah. This technique is great for practice. One to practice as it encourages you to really look at objects and... Blah, I cannot speak. Produce interesting results. So, actually, this is kind of a nice prompt because I remember doing this before live drawing and stuff. It just, like, loosens you up a bit. So maybe we'll try it today. Let's keep this one to the side. But yeah, these are the art club cards. I kind of like them a lot. Um, they're fun. Some of them are not so fun. Some of them are like, really? That's a bit boring. But yeah, they're pretty good. Another thing I got is this paint storage box, which I got from Amazon. And I thought it would be good for making my own like mixtures of jelly paints. And I could put my own like concoctions in there. So let's do that. And then we'll go through the rest. <laughs> which you can already see what they are, but we can test them out. Oh, I broke this box, that's annoying. Okay, well, might as well just rip it apart. So it's a cute little compartment package. Compartment package, what? <laughs> I zoom in a bit. It's a cute little um, watertight, airtight, uh, compartment what the flip how do i open this oh my god oh, okay that was loud um but yeah i thought it would be really cute for like travel if i go traveling i can take my little jelly sets with me but i can also like customize it to be a nice color which i'm gonna do now and here we go i'm gonna pick some nice colors got my little spatula it's dirty but it's dry so whatever uh let's go with a little bit of Fuchsia? Is this fuchsia? <laughs> really want to pack them in. Well, this would also be good for when I make my homemade paints. By the way, this is a tool I also bought for a video. It's like a little paint scraper thingy. Um, and it's actually been really useful for different things. Like, I highly recommend getting one of these scrapey tools. Because I thought, like, I've seen somebody doing art where they do, like, scrapey art with this. But I can never... I couldn't get the hang of it, but it was fun to experiment with. But I never made a video of it because making a video of a scrapey tool is a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I know I double dip. Get over it. They're my paints. I like to double dip. That took longer than expected, but this is so cute, I think. It will be a really nice travel case. Um, I didn't put a white in there because I thought maybe I'll take like a pot of white with me if I ever take this somewhere. So, because I use a lot of white. And I'm just going to put the airtight thingy on it and hope that it doesn't spill everywhere. <laughs> I think I might have overfilled these slightly. 
Uh, but yeah, that's what it looks like. You can see where I've tried to mix colors. <laughs> and then it's like airtight. Well, how does this go? This goes like this, yeah. So that's pretty cool, I think. Um, neat little thing. If you guys want to get this, I'll put it the link down below. It's kind of expensive for what it is, but I guess it's a neat little thing that you can take somewhere if you want to use your jelly paints out and about. Oh yeah. Okay, next up we have this Vivid Color Sheets Revolutionary Watercolor. Um, I've seen a couple of YouTubers use this. Uh, Doodle Date have used this, I think, a couple of times. And then I saw it in an art shop in London when I was just browsing. Um, by the way, all this stuff has been bought over like a long period of time and then just sat on my shelf. So that's why um, I have so much of stuff. Um, I'm not just hoarding stuff like yeah, well, I am hoarding stuff, but... <laughs> okay, so this is really cute, actually. Um, there's a little bug in it, though. I'm not enjoying that. Uh, okay, they give you a little postcard thing. Um, what's this? Gift. Gift friend. What do you mean? What is this? Is it more colours? Oh, it's another postcard. What did it give me two? Nice. Uh, mini colour sheet. Oh, they give you a mini one. That's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Little mini, mini watercolor sheet. So basically what it is, if you've never seen these before, is like a little pamphlet of watercolors, but on sheets of paper that you can reactivate and then use. And they're so interesting to me. I've just always found these fascinating. Like, how does this work? <laughs> Um, I just think it's really clever and I think these are so pretty and let's get to using them um, I just want to test them out really we're not doing anything fancy recently I've been trying to draw these gems so I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a watercolor one and see how it works and my sheets uh, let's see this is this is weird I've never used these I just I think it looks much brighter when it does dry. Uh, let's just... Ooh, that's a really pretty red. I love that, that's so cool. I wonder how much y like paint you get from these little sheets, but I'm sure it's like enough to last you a while. Yeah, so I've been trying to like learn how to draw gems um, with traditional media is a little bit difficult I kind of like these but I don't know why I'm trying to draw them I just had an urge <laughs> to learn how to draw um, I want to use that pink uh, how to draw these things look at that midnight metallic sky blue oh they're metallics okay interesting interesting um, but yeah just a page of gem studies I guess. Let's do a couple more with the watercolour. Yeah, I like these. These are so cool. Um, I think they're really interesting and Happy I bought them, I want to use them again. I'll probably use them in like a TikTok video as well. All this stuff just seems maybe not suited for a longer form video, but then again, I don't know, we could do something really cool with these. I think this is a really nice thing. It's just, sorry about the train. I live next to a train now. Um, but yeah, it's just really odd. Um, don't understand how it works because I didn't know what colors could be reactivated, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, let's move on to the next thing. Um, I also want to do like a special mention of this sono sonography, which you probably uh, uh, probably seen before. And basically what you do is you put something on it and then you put it in the sun and then you clean it and then it's like imprinted into the, the cloth. And I want to try this, but it's not very sunny today, so probably won't do this today. Um, follow me on TikTok, probably try it out on there. Um, links down below if you want to check this out at some point. 
at some point when I get round to it. Have a full time job, you guys. <laughs> um, then I got this marbling kit. I got this marbling kit probably about two years ago, and it's just been sitting on my shelf, and I've been like, I should try this out at some point. God, that's so loud. Oh, it's a lot of instructions. Um, please read carefully when you start. The water has to have the hardness of 100 or less. No idea if my water has that kind of hardness. Um, if trap water has high hardness, use commercial. Oh, that's a lot of like effort. Um, you see why I've never done it? <laughs> but yeah, we get this. Where's my little... Where's the thing to actually... Oh my god, that was a fail. Um, they haven't actually given me like something to put these into, so I'm a bit confused. Use a clean pan. I don't have one. You didn't give me one. Maybe they did give me one, I've just taken it out years ago and just used it. Okay, I have to find some sort of some sort of device to put this in. I found this thing, but as you can see, there's a slight problem. Um, there's also a lot of cat hair on this, which is so lovely and delicious for everyone involved. Um, I can't peel this off. So we can't be using that, but this would have been perfect, right? This would have been what I need. I very nicely found this little Ikea thing which probably isn't as suitable as the last thing I had, but I ruined that with paint, apparently. I've nicely cut out some little squares that I don't think are gonna fit in here now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to swell that out. Uh, but yeah, let's fill this bad boy up with water. It says to do one to two inches deep. Um, I've realized that maybe inches? Inches. Inch. Okay. Um, this is a real janky way of doing this, I guess. Let me just get some paper. There we go, whatever. Um, is this gonna fit? This is annoying. <laughs> I can't find my scissors, don't question it. <laughs> okay, uh, so it says to gently put a few drops into the water. We'll see if this works because if my water isn't, oh God, that was, okay. It's sinking, which is not a good sign, but there is some stuff on the top, which is a good sign. So hurrah for me. Um, I'm gonna do like a pattern if I can. I, this is actually really fun. If it turns out right. If it doesn't, ooh, that was cool. Let's zoom in. Look at that action. Let's do a little dot over here. It comes out like really quickly, except for now when I've said it. That's quite, f I'm, I'm having fun with this. Um, let's do a yellow in the middle and then let's test it out because if it doesn't work, um, it'll be disappointing. So you didn't even like have to squeeze the bottle. Oh, okay, that, the yellow, not so much. The yellow was not as good as the orange. It says you can also like, do patterns but I don't want to push it because that now, now that's gonna look really ugly for my beautiful paper um, all right let's try it oh, that is so fun what the hell why haven't I tried this before look how cool that was um, hi new obsession what the hell? That was so cool. That looks awful, but maybe when it's dry? All right, I'm gonna let this dry. Uh, we'll do a couple more. I need to change the water, I think. This is not good for a lazy person to have to do, but you know. Water in. Let's do it bigger this time. Okay. This is not actually, um, even though it looks like tap water, this is just a bottle I'm reusing. Because if I ever buy tap water, I always reuse the bottles, <laughs> which is probably not very good for you. Again, I have to jankily cut this out, but 
I'm gonna try and do a couple of sheets with the paint and see um, oh my god I'm so sorry about this but kind of like it as well it's kind of interesting uh, okay let's do the orange was it the orange that was good yeah let's do the orange first I'm gonna do a sort of pattern or attempt to do where they do that thing where they're like one two three okay so one go <gasps> I don't know if these are too close to get... Oh, stop it, we need to drop from a height. No, this one doesn't work as well. Let's try the yellow. Or the blue? Let's try the blue. It's also a black, but... I don't know how... Okay. Duh. Okay, this... What? It worked so well the first time. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, whatever. <laughs> We're going crazy. I think the red is like the, this red is like probably the best one that actually works it, or does the thing it's supposed to do, every, every, all the others are sinking to the bottom. Let's try the green. This is the ugliest pattern you've ever seen but it's still kind of fun. Green. No, green sinks as well. Maybe if I put it. No, I think my water's too hard. That's, I don't know how you soften water, if anyone knows. I think it's something you have to have in a treatment plant or something, but let's try the black. Ooh, the black works. Oh, it did work. It's just sinking. It's so annoying, but this is kind of working, so let's just go for it. Okay, ready? This is my favorite part. This is so fun. <gasps> I dropped it badly. So kind of smush the pattern. Ooh, look at that. That's so cool. I'll have to look at it when it's dry. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't look like a complete cack when it's dry. I'm gonna try and like... No, it doesn't work. Because it has to like... Absorb it somehow. No, it doesn't work. Okay, well... I don't know if you can reuse the water or you have to like change it every time, which is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna try it one more time because I'm a bit addicted. <laughs> this time... I'm gonna do it shallow. Even though it says one to two inches of water, if I do it shallow, then it, the stuff can't sink to the bottom. This red we've discovered is the best one. Yeah, see, it actually, I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually floating on the surface rather than just sinking to the bottom. Um, ooh, ooh, the blue kind of worked then. No, it just sinks, it's so irritating. It's like a Rorschach test, what do you see? Let's try the yellow again. Maybe the yellow won't let me down for the millionth time. Ooh, the yellow's kind of floating, that's pretty. Yeah, I think I wanna try this with clean water, as in, <laughs> why am I saying clean? This water is clean, uh, with a shop bought water maybe, and see how that works. Um, this time I'm gonna do like strips. I'm gonna do two strips. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gently place them. Ooh! I love it. <laughs> you guys are like, uh-huh, yeah, Steph, move on from this, please. It's so interesting to me, like the shapes. <gasps> I love it. I don't know what to use this for, but I love it. I'm gonna dry these with a hairdryer so we can get quick results and then I'll come back to you guys and show you what they look like dry. Um, okay, what? That's so cool. I mean, sort of. Let me know what you guys think. I think that's really interesting. I really wanna do this again. I'll probably get like the proper water and then hopefully the stuff would all sink. But look, this is still pretty. I like this one. I don't know what to do with them could make some cool paper art and stuff with this. But yeah, it's really interesting. Um, so I think that's everything. Uh, we haven't done the card, but can't really be bothered to be honest with you, so forget it. <laughs> now that I've remembered that I've forgotten it. But yeah, this is everything that kind of just didn't make a video out of. Um, let me know what you think and 
yeah, I'll link most of the stuff down below if you want to try it out for yourself. Um, this kit is pretty cool. I'm not sure, I mean, I think it's pretty unfair that they don't give you like a, a tub to try it out. I mean, they could have made this like the tub or whatever. Um, yeah, I love my little jelly kit. Super cool. The papers. Everything. Uh, really nice. Glad I bought the stuff. Let me know what you think. Um, yeah, uh, I'll see you next time. This was really nonchalant ending, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll probably try out more stuff on TikTok, uh, just do a quick video. So if you want to check that out, check it out down below. Don't know what I'm talking about that, but yeah, that's stupid. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.